All right, Jamie. Nice clear day. No rain. I think my kayak blank is waxed enough. I think it's time to make the mold. Bottom mold is looking great over there. Just hanging out. And uh, I just propped this guy up so it would be level. Some uh, you know, stuff. Seems pretty stable. All right. I have to cover everything black with three layers of fiberglass and appropriate resin. Except not, not down here, just like down to about there. And not over there either, just up, up to, up to that edge. Yeah. From there, everything down to like here. All right, let's do some measurements first. 49 and a half imperial noodle units. And this is a little bit less. Then you can cut strips right off that to do this part. And then this piece will have to come up here. I gotta say, it is really nice having a section in the middle that doesn't matter where I can just put stuff. All right, let's start cutting. I'll use this to cut out a template like I did for the bottom pieces. <laughs> this is so slippery, it's plastic on top of a waxed surface. All right, I've got three of everything cut. These go right there. And the bigger ones go right up to here. Those ones go on one side, those ones go on the other side. Big piece there. And then the small ones. That's the end. That's everything right? Yep. I think. I waxed this again before cutting those out. And I want to make sure it's totally dry. So maybe I'll go have a snack. I went ahead and snack. Cooked some stuff for dinner. Did a bunch of other stuff. This should be ready to go by now. I went and got my big fan from downstairs. And my Darth Vader breathing breathing apparatus. And uh, we have two rollers. This one has a bit of paint on it, but that's my backup one anyway, but it should be fine. Got all my pieces, resin in there. All right, Whew, let's, let's do it. With any luck, when next I turn on the camera, this will be covered in fiberglass. <laughs>
Well, that went about as smoothly as that could go. Got all three layers done in one shot. Oh, that was great. I was just running out of resin on this last piece, but yeah, I think I had just enough to kind of squeeze it out. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to go jump in the ocean. Hold on a minute. Let's see how much I have left. Jeez, I almost have five gallons left. So I used five and a tiny bit to do this and the, the bottom mold. So I should, I'm pretty sure I have enough to make a whole kayak with that resin. Maybe I should, maybe I should do that. I know I was talking about making a, I'm gonna get out of here because there's fumes. I was talking about making a metal top for the first kayak. But, uh, Oh, maybe I'll maybe I'll just make a make a standard one first. Let's see how it goes. Man, that went so smooth. I was uh, <laughs> I was slightly demoralized, not really demoralized, but something like that, when I made this mold. Because that first gallon of resin was thicker than it was supposed to be, and it just ended up causing a bunch of problems and made it way more difficult to make the mold. But this one, there were no problems. And uh, yeah, just super easy. <clears throat> I hope the making of kayaks goes that smoothly. Boy, I'm sure that separates. <laughs> I did wax it pretty well. It should come off with uh, minor wrestling. All right, I'm gonna turn this fan off and I don't know, go get a snack or something. All right, fan are you there. I just checked the time. Took about an hour and a half to do that, which is not bad. All right, I'm, I'm definitely going to jump in the ocean, yeah. You know, one good fiberglass experience, and I'm just thinking in fiberglass again, again. <laughs> oh, one thing I've kind of been wanting to do for a while is take this here awesome, amazing super boat, which is a trimaran, turn it into a catamaran. <laughs> Make another one of these, Get rid of the sides, and they just have two of these. And there's a few reasons that I want to do that, but man, now I'm thinking maybe I should just do it. I, I, have, I have the mold for these still. And then I could use these pontoons for something, I'm sure. All right, it's tomorrow. So this should be fully hardened, right? Yep, a little sticky still on the surface, but that's normal. Like it's separating pretty easily. That's good. You know what? I think I might want to just put it out in the sun for a little bit because the sun helps the resin cure. And when the surface is sticky like this, it's not a problem, but it's just going to get all over my hands. So if I put it out in the sun, I should get rid of some of this stickiness. So maybe I'll put this out in the sun. Grab that mold, put it in here, and, and make a bottom! Oh my gosh! Let's see about the stickiness on this guy. Oh yeah, it's like almost no stickiness now. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Fingers. All right, I'll leave that there. I think this guy has been waxed enough times. I sure hope so, anyway. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. Uh, got all my pieces cut out. Yep. Uh, time to start slobbering resin everywhere. I'm gonna try to make this go as smoothly as that kayak top mold went yesterday. That was amazing. Right now I'm just uh, oh. right now I'm just running through my head how to do these end parts because I can't get the roller all the way into that thing there, so I've got a stick that's rounded and sanded so it won't catch 
on the fiberglass. And I think what I'm going to do is do that piece, then this one, then that one, then this one, then that one, then that one, then do, do, do. Yeah. Oh, I think that went pretty well. Got all three layers in there. Used about three gallons of resin, like almost exactly. And I had a little bit of resin left at the end. So I put an extra strip of fiberglass there and there. Cause you know, those are the two parts that are most likely to hit rock. Oh, now I need to go do some stretching. It's always kind of hard on the back cause it's like, I don't know how long that took, hour and a half, two hours of just like bending over and going like this. <laughs> Oh, and finally I stand up all the way. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, I think it's snack time. Started just after 10 o'clock and now it's 11.52. So maybe, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. I bet this is going to come out really easily because it's a shape that's easy to kind of get loose. Plus, I put a lot of wax in it. Oh, that was so easy. That was too easy. Oh, come on. What do we got here? Man, that is not a bad surface. That's oh, pretty good. Needs a bit of sanding, but yeah, this is looking great. I'm just gonna leave this in the sun for a little bit so it gets the stickiness off it. Man, that looks really, really good. You know, Mr. Crocodile, if you brush your teeth every day, we wouldn't have to have these sorts of appointments. There we go. I got a little crack here. I could probably leave it, but it's pretty pretty easy to fix. Put a few strips of fiberglass on that. I've already got all my stuff out. <laughs> That's cool. I'll have to do a bit of cleaning. Nothing serious though. Oh now what do I do with this thing? There it is. 